New tonight, we bring you the story of Anna Lynn Williams, a woman diagnosed with leukemia at just 22 years of age. After finding a match for a bone marrow transplant, she is thriving and now looking to help other cancer patients. Two on your side's Leanne Stuck has the story for us. I saw my primary care doctor that morning, and by 7 o'clock that night, he was knocking on my door to tell me that I had to go to Roswell Park right away. Annalyn Williams' world was turned upside down a decade ago. So I was diagnosed in October of 2008 with acute myelogenous leukemia, um, which is a form of leukemia that actually generally affects older adults. So at 22, I was diagnosed with something most people get when they're 70 something. We introduced you to her five years ago during this emotional moment, meeting the woman who saved her life with a bone marrow donation. I was really fortunate. I had a donor in the registry named Jessie, um, and she donated bone marrow for me, and I received that on March, um, uh, March 26, 2010, and I've been in remission ever since then. Throughout her treatment, Annalyn kept her faith that she would one day get married and become a doctor to help other cancer patients. I've been married about five years now. Um, and we're living in Rochester, and I am about to complete my PhD in epidemiology. So I started my PhD in 2013, um, and I will be defending it on December 7th, and at that point we will officially be Dr. Williams. Once doctor is in front of her name, she hopes to use her own experiences to try and make patients more comfortable during treatment. And better yet, can make it through their treatments without all of these horrendous side effects that they currently experience. Annalyn has a bright future ahead. She's accepted a fellowship at St. Jude, and once the diploma is in hand, she'll be off to help others overcome what she has. You know, and I always kept these goals off in the future that, you know, I wanted to do. And now that some of those goals are coming real, I think back to that time and you know, I just kind of pause and say, like, I was right. It's really, it, you know, it really could happen. And Annalyn says after first meeting Jesse five years ago, she says the two have kept in touch. She says they get together about a few times a year. Leanne Stuck, Channel 2 News.